Since my last video, we have had two increases in the Bank of Canada rates of a quarter point each. And now we want to be able to see exactly what is happening in the real estate market. In this report, we'll be going through each dwelling type and we'll also take a look at which segment actually got affected. We will be looking at average prices uh, as our marker for today. So let's take a dive into what the numbers tell us. One, two, Hi, I'm Paul Sani. I'm a realtor, mortgage specialist, and real estate investor here in the GTA. I like to look at figures to actually determine what is actually happening in the market. Whoever actually follows and watches my videos will actually see. I like to use month, month over month data versus year over year. Even though you want to be able to look at the history of where the real estate market has gone, it, it is very important that if you are a buyer or a seller, you need to play in today's market. You need to know what is happening now. So many of us actually look at statistics even for the last seven days as to what is actually happening. So when we're determining a price of either buying or selling, we're looking at almost seven days worth of what has happened in the market because the way in which today's market is, house prices get affected positively and negatively super quick. For many of you guys who get a market report and are basically told that the market has either increased or decreased uh, and you're looking at last year's numbers, you're probably thinking, hey, well, 2023 market uh, has not really changed significantly. But the truth of the matter is, is since January onward, the market has been smoking hot. In the month of June, when the Bank of Canada announced a quarter point rate hike, there was some sluggishness. And then also now for the month of July, we will actually see the ramifications of that quarter point interest hike uh, in the month of July. If you are interested in getting involved in the real estate market, I highly recommend you book a call through my Calendly link. We can discuss all things real estate all on your schedule. So let's take a look at those numbers again. I break down the 416 and the 905 area code so that you can actually see what is happening because as you all know, if you're looking at the 416 market, you're actually dealing with a lot more condo apartments. Whereas when you get into the 905, you're actually dealing with a lot more detached homes, towns, semis, and then that actually changes the median price, or in this case, we're gonna be looking at average price. So let's take a look at the numbers here and sort of get a better idea as to what is actually happening and what I personally feel is gonna start happening uh, from July onward stats with the Bank of Canada announcing their two quarter point rate increases, which I think were personally ludicrous and did not need to happen. Here in the 416, here's just a little a graph that you can see. And basically in this graph, you can see that there is just, if you follow the color codes here, the pink being detached, semis, teal, towns, blue, condos, purple, you can see, you know, they're all trending upwards. And Based on that, you can see from January all the way up to about June, we had uh, an uptrend in the 416 area code. And even in the 905, they're all uptrending um, pretty good. Now we'll go into like the actual figures so that you can see what's happened in the detached market. And the main thing here, I highly encourage you guys, pause the video, take a look at the numbers. And this is what is important for you. It's very important to know when the most opportunistic time will be for you to actually sell or purchase a home. So be sure to take a look at these numbers, pause the video and take a look at these numbers. So you can see in detached home prices, you can see the increases in home prices up from January to February was 13% held steady, but you can see the consistent increase. And then June, there was a bigger decline there. Uh, this obviously for the 416 and 905 had pretty much just continuously increased semi-detached you can also see there were consistent increases one small little blip here and had continued to go till June you can see a little bit of a drop off uh, at 0.69% same thing over here on the 905 area code you can see that there was steady steady increases and then in for June you had a decline of 2% so Again, the lower price points, I found that buyers who were uh, in the lower price points were actually 
started to sit back and watch now as the fears of the Bank of Canada and their rate interest rate hikes were going to affect mortgage rates and surely they have. And so I personally think that even in the month of July, you'll see price declines. Here you have townhomes, same thing. There was um, some steady increase. There was obviously a very big blip in February, but when it comes down to uh, June, you can see now the price point being a little bit higher over the 1 million mark, that this becomes a point where first time home buyers are now gonna come out of the market here. Uh, same with the 905 down 2.4%. Condo apartments, you can see here, the price points, uh, you can see the increases here were quite steady. So you wouldn't really, so especially in the 905, it's very flat. So you can see the opening balance of uh, 646,000 and we're at 674,000. So the majority of the that increase there. So a 4% increase uh, approximately in the 905 area code and the Toronto condo prices had gone up almost 8%. So here again, you can see the steady increases that have occurred. I'm, I'm guessing that you're gonna see in the month of July, a sharper decline. That's for detached, your semi-detached homes in the 416 and the 905 area code. As you can see, they're all on, a, on an upswing. Same with townhomes, consistently going up everywhere. Same and same with your condo apartments. So if you're taking a look at this data and trying to figure out how it affects you, it is very important to figure out which city you're in and then figuring out which dwelling type you are in to determine a, a rough estimate of what the pricing is. I highly encourage you to book a call with me through my Calendly link and we can actually go over and dissect what is actually happening in your specific neighborhood, looking at comparables and also what is trending in the market throughout. So you can get a good feel as to what is happening with your home of interest or your home that you're trying to sell. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video uh, to anyone that really needs the help uh, in real estate and trying to understand these numbers a little bit more. My name is Paul Sani. I'm a realtor, mortgage specialist, and real estate investor here in the GTA. If you find any of this information of value, I would appreciate you guys hitting that like button, subscribe button, and share this video to others that are actually in the market to either buy or sell real estate.